All you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver, T15 Torx screwdriver. To remove the control piston with nipple and install a new one, firstly eliminate all power and remove the wheels. You need to remove all of the screws holding the plastic outer housing shell in place. These might be tightly secured so take your time. Then remove the four screws holding the detergent tank holder in place at the bottom. You can then remove the pipe hose and the tank away from the pressure washer. There will be two more screws that we need to remove, one on either side of the yellow housing. Remove the detergent suction pipe hose and lift the motor up and out. Twist the nipple 90 degrees. You'll then be able to remove it. Now with your T15 screwdriver, remove the control piston and spring as shown. With your new control piston and spring, place it inside and make sure it's in all of the way by pressing down with your screwdriver. You can then attach your new nipple. You can now place the motor back in the casing of the pressure washer and reattach the detergent suction pipe hose. Then pop the plastic housing back on. For this to attach securely and easily you may need to unscrew the four screws with a Phillips screwdriver on the back casing at the bottom of the handle as shown. Then go ahead and re-screw all of the screws back into the plastic outer housing. And if you unscrewed the four screws on the bottom of the handle, also re-screw these back in. You can then reattach the detergent tank holder and re-screw the four screws in. Then attach the detergent suction pipe hose back to the detergent tank. Reattach the wheels and that's it, your new control piston with nipple is all set to go.